All right, I'm going to be documenting my full process for doing a interior scene in Blender. I've done a few of these scenes before and I think they've been pretty useful. So I'm going to be doing another one. We're going to be doing kind of a contemporary dining room space. So there's going to be a nice water feature out from the dining room. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a cube. I'm going to make this five meters wide by five meters. I quite like using five by five for spaces. They just seem to work quite well. And then I'm going to go 2.7 high. So that's the ceiling. Now I'm going to make the floor. Let's just change this to vertex. And I'm just going to hold control to snap. Now you can do this kind of thing in CAD. Or if you're doing ArcViz for, for a client, they'll hopefully give you a 3D model or they'll give you measurements. Because I'm a designer, I like to just design as I go sometimes, and that's kind of what I'm doing for this. So let's do the walls now. And this is why I like Blender so much, because I can kind of just experiment with designs. And um, yeah, it's pretty easy to do that. So I'm going to do the roof. This is going to be just like a, um, I'm going to go 0.4. And that's 400 mils for the roof structure. Um, although we're not going to see it because we're going to be inside the space. So let's just delete this inside. And then we've got our kind of room arrangement. So this, oh, actually, yeah. So let's just bring that down. Actually, let's bring that up because the floor slab is going to come under. And we can kind of just bring it out a bit. All right. Cool. Okay, so that's a five by five space. Now I want there to be a walkway as well in between the spaces. And let's do a two meter walkway. So I kind of envision the kitchen being right next to the dining space. But what we have is these two walls here are actually going to come out quite a lot so maybe like another five meters and it's going to transition to external um, like an external wall and there's going to be a nice water feature out here so let's just duplicate this again rotate 90 degrees perfect great so I just want that to finish like that Perfect. So that looks pretty good. What we're going to do now is drop this down. So we're going to do a, if we measure from the top of here, we're going to move this down 0.9. Minus 0.9. So it's almost a meter, but it's not quite. And we can kind of play around with this depth as we go, but that's going to be our water feature. Um, so let's, let's just duplicate this one here and let's do five meters. Minus five, oh, minus five, cool. I just like using five meters as a general kind of like module when I design something because it's just a nice whole kind of space, if that makes any sense. So actually what I'm going to do with these walls, I'm going to bring them back to the actual where the space finishes and I'm going to duplicate them. Uh, no, no, I'm not because I'm just thinking ahead. These are going to be continuous, like the textures will be continuous and it will be easier to do that if they are one mesh. But what I'm going to do is actually bring this down to the bottom of the water. Like a, it's like a reflection pool. So that's pretty good. Even though like the, the floor slab is up here. Actually, that would be quite cool as like a continuous. I'm just thinking ahead at like another render. I, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. What I might do actually is have that floating and then like the reflection pulls under. But that's another story. Um, what I'm going to do is just duplicate this, rotate 90 degrees. And the real point of this massing stage is just to make sure that we're getting the right proportions 
and it, the you know we, we're kind of initially going to be setting up the composition uh, so that's pretty good yep I like that so let's just copy that across and I, I kind of imagine that I haven't fully designed this space yet I've got it I've s done a few sketches um, but yeah it's going to be quite an interesting shape I think so I think uh, if I just uh, duplicate this again I'm just going to bring this in and like this doesn't really matter too much because we're not really going to see it but I just like to get an overall idea of what the context is going to be for this design cool that's looking pretty good and then I also need to bring these walls down here cool that's good that's perfect so now let's just bring this whole thing over just like that cool so let's now duplicate this because there's actually going to be another like wing to the to the design this is going to be the bedroom wing so this is five meters so far so let's extend this another three meters so it'll be eight meters in overall and I'm just going to bring this up just to be an indicative roof pitch cool that's great and then let's do the same for for this let's bring it to the same pitch Actually, you know what? Let's just duplicate this roof. Just like that. That's perfect. That's great. Cool. So let's just bring this down now so that it kind of terminates against the reflection pool. And that's looking pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is create a camera real quick. So if we go to shift a we can create a camera and now that we've made one i'm going to just come in here and if i can get through this wall <laughs> if i can get through this wall oh almost we kind of need to position the camera like roughly where you want it to be and then we're going to go control alt zero Okay, and that's moved this camera to the view that we are currently in with the viewport. Now we can tweak a little bit. So I'm going to change this to 35 millimeters as a start. And we can kind of bring this back as far as we can. And let's just, let's just center this up. So if we go 90, 0, 90, we've just kind of made it more orthogonal to the space. And I think 35 mils is already too too zoomed in so 50 mils and 35 mils are like good standard numbers but they're more for external renders so if we're going to do an interior render i might do 18 millimeters or maybe 25 yeah that that feels pretty good and what i'm going to do because i kind of uh actually uh, yeah okay what i might do is do 1080 by 1350 as my resolution and let's just see what that looks like something i do is in the viewport display of the camera i will do the pass apart out i don't know how to pronounce it but i'll make that one just to help see the composition so this this um this cube here is our two meter walkway so we want to kind of bring the camera in get rid of that um just like that so i think that's pretty good so far what i'm gonna do is actually in this view i'm just gonna kind of like play around with this a little bit but i want i want this to kind of i, I don't want to see the roof there and let's do the same for this cool uh just duplicate this cool 
And let's just bring this out as well. Great, that's pretty good. What I'm gonna do is just chuck a plane in and that's actually gonna be our water level. So, let's just do that. Cool, that's great. So there's a few different options here. That could just be a wall and then it could be like trees or that could be an actual house, like, like an actual part of the building. So this is more of a water, uh, like an internal kind of water labyrinth or whatever you want to call it. Which that was kind of the original idea, which I quite like. So that's pretty much it so far. What I might do real quick is... Um, it might be a detail for another one, but I was going to do like the window. Um, let's just see how much time I've got. How long has this been rolling for? 13 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a cube. And this is going to be on the X axis. I'm going to make this 0 0.04. And let's just isolate this real quick. So this is kind of going to be our window frame. But it's actually going to be the boolean. So if I go back, we can kind of sync that into the ceiling. Cool. And then let's move this right to the edge. Or almost to the, to the edge. Let's just isolate those two. Cool. So we've got... Um, maybe we'll move it in like 0.3. Yeah, that, that'd be quite nice. We can always change it later. Um, and let's just go back. Let's just move it to the end. And then we're just going to go into x-ray mode. And we're going to do the same thing for this. Cool. So that's going to be like basically cutting a block out of the ceiling. And we're going to do the same thing for for here, for the floor. And the whole point of this is so that our windows are actually recessed, or as we call it in architecture, it's rebated. So let's do the same for here. And I'm not I'm not being super precious about um, like being super accurate with like dimensions and stuff because the this is really just to show an idea rather than, you know, we're not going to be constructing it from this. And and that's my, my whole kind of, the, the purpose of Blender for me is just to test ideas. Cool. So we're going to Boolean this, uh, this cube if we can select it. Let's just change this to bounds. Great, and let's go back to this, and we're just going to go click on cube. Great, and then for this one here, we're going to do the same thing. So let's just change all of these to bounds. I'm not sure if we can do all of them at the same time, but we'll soon see. Cool. Um... No, we can't. Okay, let's just quickly change this. And that, and we're doing this because we want to actually see the effect of the boolean. So let's add a boolean to the wall. That will work. 18, let go. Great. Cool, that's perfect. Wait a second. <laughs> I boolean just the boolean. Let's just do that one more time. Cool, that's perfect. So that's looking pretty good. What I actually need to do, now that I'm looking at it, is just bring that in. Or bring that out, I guess you'd say. 
and it should do the same thing. So I'm just going to go into X-ray mode. I do do a lot of modeling work in the actual like compositional view. Um, and I just, it's just a nice way to kind of iterate the design. Let's move that out. Cool. Great. That's awesome. Okay. So I'm going to select these now. Great. And then we're going to go right click, move to collection. And then we're going to create a new collection. We're going to call it Boolean. Great. Okay. So now let's duplicate this. And then we're going to go change it to textured. Uh, and we're going to move this to the scene. So let's just turn Boolean off for now. Great. And let's change this to textured. So we've duplicated the Boolean because this is going to make our window frame. Let's change that to textured. And this is a little bit more detail than I typically do for massing but I feel like it's quite important when it comes to um, this design because it, it is a real feature. Actually, I think it's important to be accurate for this. So what I'm going to do is, and it's really just down to um, what you want as a design, but I'm going to do like a 30 mil rebate. So if I move this, minus 0 0.3 nope. minus 0 0.03 great let's do the same for this Minus, uh, actually we're going to go positive, 0 0.03. Cool. And we're going to do the same thing for this. Why is that? Doing that? Let's just have a little look in here. Seems to be snapping to the wrong place. Oh, well, that's all right. Going to go um, 0 0.03. Great. So if I, if I turn on the Boolean one more time, we actually need to move this up. And yeah, that's pretty good. Cool, so that's just kind of giving an indication of what the window frame is going to look like. If I move this down, minus 0 0.03. Cool, so that's kind of going to be like a recessed frame, which will look quite nice. If we turn the Boolean off real quick, and we just click off this. That's going to be quite nice. But what I already think, and we can change this later, is I might actually move this frame all the way to the edge. Because um, I think I think that would be better. So we can do that another time. But this is a really, really good start. So in the next episode, I'm going to be taking you through how I do the lighting. And make sure to check out my Instagram at Oliver Higgins Architecture if you want to see the kind of work I do as a professional. Um, and also check out my Discord. There's a, um, there's a link in the description. And you can post your renders and get feedback from me in the community. So I'll see you on the next episode. Cheers.